Greg Laurie here with some thoughts about what's happening in Israel. We have all been horrified to see these unbelievable images on our television screens and our social media feeds of atrocities that we have not seen since World War II, of a targeted attack by this terrorist organization, Hamas, against civilians, women, elderly people, some who even survived the Holocaust, and children, even hearing of babies being murdered and decapitated. It's evil on another level. And this has caught the people of Israel by surprise. And if you were to take what has just happened there and have it happen in America, it would be like 30,000 Americans dying because their nation is much smaller than ours. And this has been their 9-11, their Pearl Harbor. Really, it's like multiple Pearl Harbors and 9-11s. And this war is being fought. And some are saying, well, we just you know, need to be a ceasing of hostility. Well, Israel has to defend themselves. Can you imagine if on the heels of 9-11, People said, well, you know, just don't fight back. No, we have to stop this. And, and Israel has to do the same. So when the Bible says pray for the peace of Jerusalem, I do pray for peace, but I do pray that they succeed in stopping this wicked enemy, Hamas, from doing what they're doing. And I pray that they get the hostages out. There are even Americans among those hostages. So let's all be praying right now. At times like this, we're reminded that the scripture addresses this. And it tells us in the end times there would be distress of nations with no way out. We see so much going on in our world right now. The aggression of China as a military and economic superpower and their desire, no doubt, to take over Taiwan. Of course, we see the continuing war in Ukraine with Russia. And now we see this conflict in the Middle East, this attack against the Jewish people on a level they have never seen before. But Jesus said, when you see these things begin to happen, look up. He didn't say, when you see these things begin to happen, freak out. So we need to look up. So we need to pray for the people of Israel. We need to pray for those who have lost loved ones in such a tragic way. But we also need to be reminded that I believe these are signs of the times. You know, the Bible says the end time events would revolve around the Middle East and specifically Jerusalem. God said in the book of Zechariah, who would make Jerusalem a cup of trembling and a burdensome stone. And it's interesting to look at the enemies of Israel, how often they bring up Jerusalem. You know, people say, well, all they want is a two-state solution. I think what they want in some cases is a final solution. And that's the verbiage that the Nazis used and Hitler used in eradicating the Jewish people from the face of the earth. You can't negotiate with someone that says you do not have the right to exist. And Iran, who back Hamas, have openly said on many occasions that they want to wipe Israel off the face of the map. So listen, one of the signs of the end times is God said the Jewish people would be scattered and regathered in their land. That's happened. On May 14th, 1948, Israel became a nation. and The prophetic time clock began to tick. But then God also said in the last days that Israel would be attacked by a large force from her north identified as Magog. Now, is Magog Russia? Many scholars and prophecy experts believe it is. I happen to think it very well could be. So let's just play that out for a moment. If Magog is Russia, who attacks Israel after she's regathered in her homeland in the end times, it is worth noting that one of the allies of Magog is Persia, which is the ancient name for Iran. So if Russia is Magog, the Bible predicted hundreds of years ago that Russia and Iran would become allies. That has actually happened in very recent days where Iran and Russia have formed an alliance. In fact, the Iranians have provided the weaponized drones that have been used in the war in Ukraine against the Ukrainian people. And so you see this alliance and of course, we know that Persia, Iran is behind Hamas. So a lot of interesting interconnected things. I'm not saying that what is happening now will lead to the Ezekiel 37 scenario. What I'm saying is it's interesting the Bible addresses these topics. So, you know, we need to look up and we need to be preaching the gospel because everyone needs Jesus. Every Israeli, every Arab, 
every man, every woman, every Russian, every Chinese person, every American, we all need Jesus. You know, Jesus is the answer. And so our focus as Christians is to go into all the world and preach the gospel. So I encourage you all to do that, but be praying for the peace of Jerusalem.